invite you all to come with me to a beautiful place called Quebec in the city province. And from there, we're going to onboard to Chisabel and all the way to Yamuru in Pinewood along the city highway. So before I go on to my presentation, this presentation is dedicated to my late uncle, Anon Membara, and my beloved mom, Carol Kari. So projected on the slide, the topic of my presentation is exploring the consequences of undermining traditional arts merits in the contemporary young rural Pacific province. Um, now some of you might ask me why I chose to work on this topic. As an individual growing up in the village, I know what cultural practice is and what it is in its importance to me. So I was motivated to do this research because I was hesitated to um, agree on my parents arranging me to my customary partner. So now I want to know what will happen if I undermine this marriage system. So this motivated me to um, work on this topic. Um, this is basically the outline of the presentation. On the background of the study, um, did you know that the traditional orange marriage in Yanguru is called Tupunaman and Tupunamari that has been practiced over time in the society? Also, did you know that Tupunaman and Tupunamari in Yanguru is the marriage system that is arranged by the parents or relatives of the couple in who is the granddaughter of his grandmother's brother or his great-granduncle's daughter? The marriage is arranged from bloodline where the boy should get married to someone who is the second cousin from his father's mother's side. And finally, did you know that this marriage system adds as a means of survival in um, survival and unity in Yangu and also in some parts of PNG and other countries such as um, India and Africa? And we do 2016 supported this by saying such practice of orange marriage creates strong family ties. This is this is the uh, study location. Um, this is where uh, along the Pacific Highway and it's um, the main Bible estate church and surrounding villages. This is where the study was conducted. On to the program statement. Um, with Yanguru being added to a number of changes and development, the new way has brought, the custom of Tumunaman and Tumunamari seems to die out because young people follow their emotions to choose their partners. And this has a greater impact for the people in the society. And we do 2016 support this by saying this practice is slowly dying out as today's young generation follow their emotions to choose their partners and so disobey their parents. On to the significance of the study is to be aware of the consequences that will occur in the society so that young people will be considerate in their decisions when choosing their partners so that their family won't encounter this effect. Now on to my major and my specific research question. Um, the major research question is what are the consequences of undermining traditional experience in the contemporary Yanguru East Pacific province? Um, and also the researcher has come up with six specific questions to help guide the researcher answer the major research question. The objective of this study is to identify and know the consequences of undermining traditional experience from the people's point of view for the common good of the people and the society. Also, the literature review after consulting several literatures, uh, there were three uh, themes emerged from the literature. The first one is arrangement of traditional orange merit, and as stated by Sarah in 1974, partners were chosen by their parents and the maternal accords and past marriage is influenced by the both parents of both partners. The second theme image was the importance of traditional arrangement marriage. Um, Bloom 1989 stated that marriage establishes a relationship not only between the spouses and their partners' distant group, but also between the two lineages of clans. Gabuzu 2015 um, stated that a study which was conducted in Kopiam Apum district in Enga indicated, sorry if I don't pronounce this one, right. traditionally marriage in Enga was a community method that brought not only the two people or two families together, but it created a bond of friendship and mutual support between two tribes. The last theme emerged from the literature review is causes of traditional arrangements going towards its extinction. 
Motovani 1992 stated, freedom of choice and new way has provided has provide courses that aren't ready to die out. And also, I read in 2016 said, this practice is slowly dying out as today's young generation follow their emotions to choose their partners and so they disobey their parents' will. This has led to, me, led to my research gap, which is although there were researchers conducted on the topic of traditional arranged marriages, there wasn't any specific study on the consequences of undermining it and its impacts on the lives of people in relation to this study area, specifically in Myanmar. On to the methodology, the research method employed was purely qualitative. Um, the type of study is exploratory and descriptive. The research instrument used was semi-structured one-to-one -one interview and the data analysis method is a them them thematic analysis method to analyze the data. So this is the process of data analysis. The raw data collected was transcribed, coded, and then categorized into teams and then it was interpreted. On to the participant sampling, um, sampling strategy was used, uh, used towards non-probability convenience in able to only interview 12 participants. Once married in the society or let's say they are married by the custom get their view like how they see traditional experience and some of the impacts they face. And for unmarried young adults range ages from 21 to 26, um, this, these are uh, adults uh, in tertiary institutions just to know um, what they think about this traditional marriage marriage and are they going to follow their, I mean, their parents will by marrying their um, arranged partner. So this is the thematic framework. Um, <coughs> entering my uh, major research question, the consequences of undermining the, the merit system. So um, after collecting the data, the researcher has come up with um, six major teams as you can see up on the slide. Um, however, um, due to time factor, the researcher decided to present only four teams that is um, relevant and it, and it best answers my um, major research question. So the first team um, arose from the um, findings was the question sent on undermining traditional arrangement. So the researcher asked the uh, participants um, what they think about traditional arrangement. And the south team image was a customary marriage in Yanguru is seen as a uh, means of survival and unity. The second team image from the finance was the effects of the of undermining traditional arranged marriage. Now the south team image from this team is destroying family ties and relationship. So if the couple arranges are not together, then it's it has a life is at stake as city. People can get jealous of him and then destroy him by killing him with poison or something like that. The third team image was financial implications of the freedom of interesting partner. Under this team, the sub team image is lack of family support and assistance financing. So in a society, people depend heavily on each other. And this system um, makes them um, contribute and help one another when it comes to um, making custom work. So participant female seven said, I won't show up to his or her house when they are in trouble because their son didn't get married to my daughter. Learning online made it by coming every morning. And also participant male team said, I won't waste my time and money to support their family because their daughter didn't get married to my son. They can call and ask Manu's people to send them money so they can do their custom work. And after 2018, support this by saying, you refusing to enter into an arranged marriage could lead to financial difficulties, especially if the person in question is financially dependent on his or her family. Ways to uphold the transient marriage system, this was um, suggested by the participants when entering them. Uh, one, one they suggested was family influence from both sides. Uh, participant may want to get, I think we should encourage the arranged couple to be together. Family influence needs to be done. For instance, both parties of the arranged couple should pay a visit to each other to make sure the couple should settle down, take care of each other, and will encourage this arranged couple to be together. And also, a female participant has stated we must encourage our children to get back to home and marry in the society. This point. This point, modern influence to maintain our family ties together. The other Something image from this uh, team is rearrange the younger ones together. If the elders or the elder if the elder siblings are not together, they missed out on his marriage, 
they suggested they should rearrange the younger ones, the smaller ones from the two about parties to get back and bury each other in order to uphold this practice. So participant female to state that if the other sibling can get married by custom, we should then arrange the younger ones from both sides to settle together in order to uphold the traditional marriage system. And also main participant for state that today if the other siblings refuse to get married to their Tomona man or Tomona Mary, that was arranged. I think our parents should rearrange the younger ones to get married. Now what, there were two surprising information despite by the researcher. Although I was in the, I, know, I know my culture, but I didn't know this information. So if the custom of Tumuna Man and Mary that we have in the society is broken or died out, all other cultural practices such as price payment, debt confiscation, child initiation, bed initiation, menstruation period payment, all these practices will die out because all these practices are connected or the 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 marriage, um, it kind of binds all these uh, other cultural practices together. So if it dies out and if it continues to be undermined, all the other cultural practices um, will also die out. The other surprising information was, um, I found out that someone who is married, who is from other province, married into the society, the society considered him or her as karma, like karma in top place, mm -hmm. meaning that he, he or she is the uh, devil spirit from other province marrying society. Or he'll be a problem creator. I mean, he or she doesn't know the culture, so um, okay. there will be misunderstandings between the couple <laughs> or um, disrespect. On to the limitations and limitations. One of the limitations is focus group was not carried out as proposed. And the limitation it is a small scale research where only 12 participants participated as the research cannot be generalized by any information collected from this research. Now the recommendations that are made is from my participants' point of view. Um, the first recommendation is addressed to the parents in the community. They should be family influence provided among both parties of the orange couple who are still unmarried and or they are still studying. Uh, parents should encourage their child to get back, sorry, parents should encourage their children to get back and marry their customary arranged partner and parents should rearrange the younger ones to get married if the elders or the elder siblings missed out. The second and the last recommendation is addressed to the young people who are unmarried as well as the community as a whole. There should be an awareness carried out by community elders in order to educate young people to be aware of the marriage importance so they would um, avoid undermining the marriage system and also it was suggested that children should listen to their parents' advice instead of disobeying them. Now, I believe similar studies or research can be conducted in other communities of young traditionally and in their study on a research comparing.